Much of the Islamic world remains in turmoil this morning over a book few Muslims have ever read. It's called The Satanic Verses, and several powerful Islamic leaders, including Ayatollah Khomeini, have sentenced author Salman Rushdie to death for blasphemy. The last thing before we go tonight, a horrific attack. Famed author Salman Rushdie was stabbed on stage in western New York early this morning. Rushdie famously spent years in hiding and under police protection after an Iranian leader called for his execution. NBC's Andrea Mitchell has more. It was a scene of chaos, a shocking attack at a nearly 150-year-old artist retreat in upstate New York. With the amphitheater, the presenter was just attacked on the stage on EDMF. Author Salman Rushdie stabbed on stage right before he was to give a lecture. Police say the suspect, now in custody, is 24-year-old Hadi Matar, that he rushed on stage, attacking Rushdie and his interviewer. Police saying Rushdie suffered stab wounds to his neck and abdomen. Really, we don't have any indication of a motive at this time. An anchor from our Pittsburgh NBC station, WPXI, an eyewitness. This guy rushes the stage and grabs him and starts either punching or stabbing him. Rabbi Charles Savinar was in the audience and took this video after the the attack. All I remember seeing at that time was the assailant's arm going up and down, up and down. Um, it looked like Mr. Rushdie, who began on the chair, ended up on the floor. Rushdie has lived with risk to his life ever since a fatwa or decree in 1989 by then Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Khomeini that called for his murder. Rushdie's novel, The Satanic Verses, was banned in Iran, deemed blasphemous by the religious fundamentalists. He talked about the threat with NBC's Kate Snow in 2020. You had to hide for, what, a decade? I've always thought that the word hiding is very inexact because one of the things anyone who's ever being surrounded by maximum security knows is that it's unbelievably visible. Years ago, Iran's government distanced itself from the fatwa, but threats to Rushdie continued. After being airlifted to a hospital, Rushdie was undergoing surgery. In an email to the New York Times this evening, Mr. Rushdie's agent said the author has suffered serious injuries and he is currently on a ventilator and unable to speak. NBC will continue to update you on his condition throughout the weekend. And tonight, he is in our prayers.